In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download stuff from the web and save it directly to your USB drive. So why would you want to do this? Let's say you're into downloading, I don't know, TV series, movies, games on your fire stick. If you put too much on there, the device will run slow and eventually will become corrupted. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to save it directly to a USB stick. Now way you use none of your internal storage. Coming up. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is to make sure that our Fire TV device is running Fire OS 6 or above. To check which version you're running, all you need to do is go to your settings, My Fire TV, About, and under Software Version, if it says Fire OS 7 or 6, that means you can do this. If it says Fire OS 5, I'm very sorry, but you cannot do this. And the next thing you need to do is look whatever safe you're gonna use for this into your computer, and then you're gonna open up your file explorer. So this wife I want to format is the this wife, as you can see, just here. And I would recommend if there's anything important on there, make sure that you do have it backed up and if within that that but if there's nothing important you can just Follow me on four masses. You're gonna right click on this and then you're gonna click on format. And then this window will pop up confirming that you're gonna format it. Make sure on the file system FAT32 is selected, otherwise, it will not work on the Fire TV devices. And then we're gonna click on start. And it will give you a warning. So once you're a thousand percent sure you want to format this, click on OK. And now we'll format your USB safe. And as you can see, nothing on it. Oh. Right, so the next thing we need to do is shut down the files, Nora, and then we're looking for this icon just here. If you don't see it, it'll be in here somewhere. And um, once you see it, click on it and then eject the USB safe. This means you can ump nugget. You should already have this OTZ adapter. If not, the very cheap to buy off Amazon. So what we're gonna do is plug in the USB in the USB Ace knot. And if you're on a Fire TV stick, you're gonna plug in the cable for your fire stick into this USB C slot, and then we're gonna plug this into the fire TV device. 
So let's do that now. Um, as you can see is now nooked in. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download a browser that can actually download files from the internet. The browser we're gonna download today is Google Chrome. So to get Google Chrome on your Fire Stick, like any other APK, just go to your settings, My Fire TV, About, and then click on where it says Fire TV Stick You, whatever, seven times till it says you're already a developer. Push back, you'll see the developer options. Click on that, turn on the ADBD button, and install unknown apps. Turn it on for downloader. And then you want to open up the downloader app. And then in downloader, you're going to type listen A26476. Again, that's A26476. Once you type it in, just click on the play button on the remote to redirect you to my APK page. And then you're gonna scroll down to the section called Browsers. Or Web Browsers, I should say. And in here, we're gonna find Google Chrome. So we're gonna click on Google Chrome. Right, so once the Google Chrome has downloaded, we're actually going to install it. Click done. And then click on donate. Confirm by pressing donate. That just gets rid of the temporary APK file. And then what we need to do now is first of all make sure you've gotten the mouse toggle app which you can get from the same page as you can see here mouse toggle for fire devices i have a video that's in the top court now showing you how to get mouse toggle working right so once you've seen that video and you know how mouse toggle works you can open up the google chrome browser and then we're gonna walk around it so it downloads directly to our usb drive don't worry about this pop-up guys google chrome will still run so we're gonna click on OK and then with the mouse toggle we're gonna click on continue. And then we're in our Google Chrome browser. So as I said we're gonna walk warm it up so we can download apps to our USB side. To do that all we need to do is click on the three dots just up there with our mouse and then we're gonna click on downloads in downloads we're gonna click on the gear icon just up there and then we're gonna turn this off where it says ask where files to save so turn that off and we're going to change the download location to be our USB drive. So we're going to click on that. And that's it. We've programmed our Google Chrome so we can download directly on our USB drive. 
So let me do a quick test. Right, so let's download this video for example. We're gonna click on that. Now we're gonna click on download. And this could be your movie, your TV show, your music or whatever. And um, this is as an example one I'm doing. So we're gonna say continue once with on this message. And then we're gonna say and now and that should be downloading now to our USB drive directly folks. So it isn't downloading and wasting yet fire sticks memory and i did say i was gonna do an apk file download anyway and that's a download directly to the usb side which it has folks so that's just showing us what we've Download it. The way we can confirm that is actually on the USB side. Open up any file manager. And let's say if I go into my USB side, it's an Android data com.android.com files download and there's the items if downloaded folks so we can now download more items if we need to we can take our usb drive plug it into another device access all our content our apk files we can install the APKs on another device. It just makes this so, so handy, folks. So I hope some of you have took something away from this video. And if you have, press the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel with all notifications turned on. Now way you get notified whenever I upload a video. So with that all being said, take care guys. And as always, have a great day.